Adults Planner began really from a need, a recognition that particularly across London where we have the funding to do the research and development, there are tremendous opportunities, real pockets of good practice, but construction skills, uh, training and employment and brokerage does not operate in a coordinated fashion. Skills Planner will be a data platform. It will aggregate construction skills, supply and demand data. Imagine that you're able to understand what the building industry requires in terms of skills. Imagine you have data about the types of skills and capabilities that individuals have in the workforce. Imagine you could overlay the needs and the requirements, the supply and the demand, the different demand in different sectors, in different parts of the geography of the capital city. What does that mosaic of information look like? Well, bringing that picture, that overview, assessing the situation, that's what the project's about. Crossrail is involved with Skills Planner because it is innovative, it is creative, it is taking us to the next level in ensuring that we have the right skills in the right place at the right time to deliver major projects. It creates a joined up approach where companies like Tideway, Network Rail, Transport for London can all work together to ensure local people get jobs on amazing projects like Crossrail. I believe um, Skills Planner has got fantastic potential in joining a lot of best practice initiatives together so that the industry can work in a collaborative, joined up way so that there's far better visibility between the employers, the training providers and the job brokerage organisations so they can all see one picture, they can all see the opportunities, the jobs that are on the horizon and they can encourage young people um, and people of any age who are looking for work, how they can find suitable opportunities but as importantly find the right high quality and relevant training to give them the skills that they need for the jobs that are available. AOC has become involved with Skills Planner because we recognise that we need to do more to ensure that there's a clear link between employers and college provision and make sure that the pipeline of talent, be they young people or adults, actually works in terms of making the connection between courses and jobs. There's a need to work in partnership, collaboration across the boroughs. Um, at the moment there are three London boroughs, one of them's Camden, one of them is Inson, and the other one is Westminster. And there's other partners such as the Royal Borough of Greenwich that are actually looking to develop Skills Planner out to meet their particular needs, to, to make the process of getting people into work on the back of major construction projects much easier and much more effective and maximise the number of people into jobs in local areas. Our unit Serio at Plymouth University brings a range of skills to this project. We're experienced at socio-economic research and at disseminating research across a wide range of partners. So it's about matching for us and um, putting our academic knowledge and our research skills to a problem such as construction trade um, skills is perfect. The way we might uh, share the research and disseminate it across, it will benefit both employers in terms of their skill sets that they get from employees, it will benefit the construction trade and also the government in the, in the policies they set in the future. So there's quite a few beneficiaries and our job really is to make sure we package up the findings so that people can understand the benefits. This is a great and exciting opportunity for us to actually brigade all of these people together, share that information because historically the sector isn't especially good at doing this in terms of corralling that information. But I think Skills Planner gives us an opportunity to actually do that properly and more effectively. If we're going to build smart cities, intelligent built environments, we're going to need a foundation of open data, shared information about everything from transport systems to utilities, energy, water. That vision is actually being explored by architects, by people defining the smart cities of the future now. Uh, we need that. There's no way you can be smart unless you've got data at your disposal. Mm -hmm.